Well, the weather couldn't be much better from a footballing point of view. Welcome to Selhurst Park in South London. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 12, Will Hughes. Number 23, Connor Gallagher. Number 15, Jeffrey Slope. Cheers. Good luck. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Roberto Firmino. So much looking forward to this Liverpool kickoff. An incisive pass. That's all they can conjure for now. Alexander Arnold. It's with Roberto Firmino. Struggling to get it away. Well, nothing comes of it. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. Dangerous looking attack. Hughes. Can't miss, surely. Oh, off the post, still alive. Well, Roberto Firmino is a player who just seems to get better and better. What might we see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Liverpool have given it away. Conor Gallagher. Tremendous ball played through. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. But now we find out it was offside. Henderson. Well read to put an end to that attack. Anderson. Excellent vision. Hughes. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. Fabinho. Not to be advised giving the ball away there.
Henderson. It's with Roberto Firmino. Firmino. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. Takes the shot. And he's found the net. Roberto Firmino. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Schlup. It might be on for them. And reading it absolutely superbly. Gordon. Milner. A really sumptuous ball and still an opportunity. Robertson, a fine block. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. Anderson. Mitchell. Alert defending. Milner. They might be able to get in now. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. Milner keeping it moving dynamically Jota promising possession this clears it away and that's an important intervention They need to get tighter here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, possibilities in the centre. Possession one. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. In behind for him to chase. And able to get a body in the way. And I must say that's very good refereeing going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. Over it comes, and dealt with that ball comfortably. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here.
Well, you have to say, Roberto Firmino has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Not that that should come as any great surprise, Stuart. Well, what can you say about him today? He's been a real live wire, full of tricks, great feet and good goals as well. Top stuff. And the ball is rolling again. Palace left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Henderson. Well, can they open up the defence here? Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Hudson Edouard. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Possession lost by Liverpool. Will Hughes. Ezzy. Oh, moving it nicely. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Hughes. A chance to eat into their lead. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. And they're making a change. Number 12, Hughes. Coming onto the pitch. Number 44, Jairo Rivaldo. And over it comes. Well, off target in the end, and that'll be a goal kick. Well, I think the defender just about did enough there, but that was a chance. Virgil van Dijk. Andrew Robertson. Henderson has it. Gordon. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number four, Virgil van Dijk. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Short corner it is. Robertson. Jota. Into the advanced position. Every pass hitting its target. And a chance to whip it in here. Jones on the ball. Plays it back. A wonderful intervention. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Well read to put an end to that attack. 20 minutes remaining. Could be dangerous. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Playing with purpose and control. 
Jeffrey Schrupp. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, here it is again. The build-up is so patient. They're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, Crystal Palace just one behind now. And you sense, don't you, that the momentum may be with them. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, if they want to get something from this game, they need to start getting the ball into the box that little bit quicker and get players attacking the ball. Otherwise, this game will just slip away from them. Cuts it back. We're putting it wide from there. A pity, really. So making the substitution now. Ten minutes to go. It is a decent looking attack here. And the flag does go up, must have been close. And time for the change now. Number 66, Trent Alexander-Arnold. To be replaced by number 76, Neto Williams. And successfully cut out. Useful looking ball. Interception to snuff out the danger. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, he was floating with trouble, but the referee has decided not to hand out a yellow card. Free kick, lacking just a little bit of guile. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. Fabinho. Roberto Firmino. Here's Robertson. He's protecting it well. Jones. Difficult to stop him. And back with Firmino. Look, look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. And the referee blows for full time. It has gone awry for Crystal Palace and their supporters. No points for them. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Roberto Firmino, he seemed to be everywhere. What in particular did you enjoy about his display? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.